Here we're given a function f of x equals 2x plus 5 and asked to determine each of the following and to write our answers as ordered pairs. So the first two are given input find output problems. So if I'm asked to determine f of 0, that means that 0 is a replacement for my input. So that becomes 2 times 0 plus 5, which is 0 plus 5, which is 5. So I can write function notation f of 0 equals 5, and that translates to an ordered pair, input 0, output 5 f of negative 2, it's going to be the same kind of situation. I'm replacing my input with negative 2. So negative 2 goes in for x. That gives me negative 4 plus 5, which is a positive 1. So function notation for my answer would be f of negative 2 equals 1. Ordered pair notation, input of negative 2, output of 1. The second set are given output, find input. So I'm going to have to replace the output. The output is f of x. So I'm replacing f of x with 7. So 7 equals 2x plus 5. Now I need to solve for x. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides equals 2x. So that leaves me with 2 equals 2x. And if I divide both sides by 2, just the 2's will cancel, and I get 1 equals x. So if I want to use function notation, I would say f of 1 equals 7. Ordered pair notation would be 1 comma 7. So pay very close attention to the quantity that you're given. Is the number that you're given an output quantity or an input quantity? Because your process will be different depending upon the answer to that question. Second set here, find x. That means we don't know x, so I cannot put negative 11 for x. Negative 11 is not x. Negative 11 is f of x. It is output. Negative 11 is going to replace f of x. 2x plus 5 is left, and I'm solving for x. So if I subtract 5 from both sides, I get negative 11 minus 5 equals 2x. That's negative 16 equals 2x. Divide both sides again by 2. So that's going to cancel. I get negative 8 equals x. So if I want to use function notation, for my result, it would be f of negative 8 equals negative 11. My ordered pair notation would be negative 8, negative 11. So once again, pay very close attention to your directions. Your directions will tell you how to leave your final result. We did some extra here with the function notation, which is an important idea. Pay extra special attention to what you're being asked. If you're given the input, that's where your value goes. If you're given your output, that's where your value goes.